Hey, so I wanted to go ahead and make a tutorial for how to attach your tail from Vroid in Blender because the current tutorials that I could find were about using Unity in plugins and I couldn't make them work. And Unity is ter more terrifying than Blender in my opinion. So I figured I would make a tutorial for anyone like me who didn't know how the fuck to do it. And hopefully since I also don't know much about 3D, it will be very helpful. So if you're not very familiar and wondering why the fuck we're doing any of this, and when you make a tail in Vroid, you're actually just making a hair mesh because surprisingly Vroid doesn't have a native way to make tails. You can make ears. That's that's in. But tails, not yet. But you can make a tail with a hair mesh and you can see it looks it looks pretty good. If you go into the preview though, you can see that it's not actually it's not actually attached to your but because it's attached to your head because it thinks it's hair so that's the one thing that you need to fix if you make a tail in vroid oh and by the way if someone wants me to make a, a tutorial for making a tail i think there's better ones out there but you know i i could also make one if if, if it would be useful but that that's just this is just the one i made so if you want to export it for attaching the tail obviously we got to export it we go up here export as vrm And you'll see it lays it out in the typos. And then in terms of settings, you definitely want to delete transparent meshes, especially with how you, you know, draw things on in Vroid. And reduce materials. I actually do combine the hair meshes. I think it'll make it easier in with the blender method. Trust me. And if you're exporting for something like VR chat, you'll probably want to reduce materials. Cause you know, VR chat gets mad if you have too many materials for processing and stuff. And it's probably better to do anyway. Materials reduced. And I'll go ahead and keep the texture as big for this one. But you don't want to fuck with the bones. If you already got the bones where you like them, where you like where you see them, don't fuck with the bones. Export. And it makes you make a title for it. Melanie tutorial. Creator, cre creator Melanie. Creator Melanie. And export. And it'll process. We all need some time to process. And save it where you, wherever you want to save them. I just save random files to my download folder. Save. And then we're going to end up going into Blender. But first we need the add-on that lets you import and export VRMs in Blender for easy editing. So it's this one from Saturday06 VRM add-on for Blender. And I'll make sure to link it in the description so you can get it. So you just, you know, hit download here and it has an installation guide. But basically, when you go over to Blender, you want to go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install, and then install it the zip file from, you know, wherever you put it. You can see like the... Uh, blah, 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 blah add-ons those are the ones that comes with and it'll be somewhere in here it'll be somewhere in there's trust me <laughs> so there's this cube here don't get rid of it yet import vrm you'll be able to import now the import in this case my melanie tutorial vrm you let it let it think about it for a sec And now your model is one with the cube. Very amusing. Delete the cube. Delete. <laughs> Delete button. So here we have my model. You can see that because I used the long coat base in Vroid, she has a bunch of extra bones. So if you have anything like this, just click on the bones and go over up here, go to edit mode, and then you can click on the bones and just hit delete and delete those bones. Do not dissolve the bones. As dramatic and exciting as that sounds, it's not what you want to do. You want to delete them. Oh, and in terms of basic blender controls, if you hold down the middle mouse button, you can rotate around. You can scroll in and out to zoom. And, and if you hold shift and click your middle mouse wheel down, you can pan. Boop, boop, boop. And if you hit the numpad keys, you can switch to different views quickly. So especially uh, 
three is very useful for our purposes since it lets you see the bone. So there's two main things that we have to worry about with the tail. We have to worry about its parent bone. Yeah. And it's bone weight thing. Bone weights. They're attached to the head. We need to make sure both are attached to the hips. If, if you don't do both, it won't work. You gotta do both. So. <laughs> so first we'll do the, the bone. So since we're already in edit mode, I'm just gonna scroll in. You can see it's got this dotted line going up and, and it's going up into the head because right now its parent is the head. So now it needs to be adopted by the hip. So this is the hip. Wait, no, no, not, not, not you big boy. There, this bone right here is the hips. That That's your big hinge point for your butt that you need. So you click on, on your first tailbone and you wanna shift click on this teeny tiny circle. This teeny tiny circle, that's, that's your like butt hinge point thing. And then you right click, parent, make, keep offset. Cause otherwise it'll try to make them touch. You don't want, you don't want your, your, it to get like sucked up into your butt. So, so now you see that the dotted line is going to the right place and that means that your bone is all set. So the only problem now is that if I go into pose mode and hit R to rotate, that looks all good, right? It, it's, it's rotating from the right place, but if I select the head and rotate, well, that ain't right. That's not right. That's because of those bone weights. Are they bone weights? Mesh weights. Mesh, mesh bone weights, whatever. So now we need to fuck with the mesh a little bit, just a little bit. Don't get, don't get scared. Now you can see that because I combine the hair meshes, if when I click on these in object mode, it's orange. It's orange around everything because they're all one object, and we don't want to mess with the head hair. So we go to edit mode. And you're going to want to click this little guy, toggle x-ray. It just makes it easier to select everything. But ba bam And then you want to select your tail. So now your tail is selected and not your hair. And then right click. Separate selection. Ooh. So now when you go back to object mode, this and this are separate selections. Very important because you don't want to disconnect your head hair from your head for obvious reasons. So now that you can select your tail, you go back into edit mode. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off x-ray because it's scary. Now that this part is, is a little, might be a little unintuitive, but you could do this. So wait, I'm going to move over here. Because we need to use this menu over here. So go down to object data properties, the green triangle, click, and you'll see all these guys. These are your bone groups. I, yeah. So you want to find the one that's head. I, I think it's usually near the top when exporting from Vroid. And if you press select, you'll see that these bad boys turn orange because they're currently head babies. So you want to click remove and before doing anything else like don't click anything else like don't unselect them you want to find hips oh oh it's actually further up and assign so now their parent they're weighted to the hips and not the head and you can see if you go into weight paint their hip babies if you don't know about weight painting to worry about it I didn't either, but you should be good now. And you can actually do, test it by clicking the bones and going back into pose mode. And now if I rotate my head, no problem. Doesn't affect the tail. If I rotate my hip, it, it's like the base thing the, the whole thing will rotate. Don't worry, don't, it, it's good, it's fine. By the way, just objectively funny, uh, boob bones. But you should be good now. 
you, your head and your tail are disconnected. So you go to file, export, VRM, and you export it to wherever, you know, to take into Unity or whatever tracking people are using nowadays for 3D or whatnot. And you got a tail and not hair on your butt. I hope you found this useful. Ha <laughs> ha